Uh, question for Eric. Um, yeah. What is your What is your evidence with God? Do you have like some, like because whenever you have like God talking to you, it's just like one part of your brain to actually talking to yourself. Sounds like Max has been talking to this young man. It's his son. I know. I know. <laughs> what is my evidence of God? Well, okay. Dad's okay with this. The proof of God is that without God, you can't know anything, and that's exactly what we've seen here is we've seen somebody say, I could be wrong about everything. They've given up knowledge in order to deny the God that they know exists. And that's why the Bible says it is so foolish so, to deny God. So you're saying if I don't know what one thing is, I don't know what everything is. No, I'm saying if you don't know everything, then you can't know anything to be absolutely true. So if I don't know everything in the world, then I don't know that you exist? Unless you have revelation from somebody who does know everything. And that somebody that does know everything is God. So and young man... If I don't know, so that means if I don't, don't know everything, that, that means that I don't know if God exists. You can't know anything. You can't even... Yeah, you can't... The, the argument... And I'm, I'm sorry, Max, thanks for trying to get a... How old are you, buddy? This was not me. How old are you? <laughs> you love to get He's been raising his hand the whole time. Uh, that's fine. And, and I do appreciate it. And these are good questions. But the argument is actually, um, actually kind of simple. It just says, look, you would have to know everything in order to say you know one thing to be absolutely certain. Or somebody who does know everything could reveal something to you so that you could be certain. Here's, we all deal in the realm of certainty. We deal with 2 plus 2 equals 4. You don't go to the bank and ask for change for a $100 bill and then give you $5 and go, huh, I guess it changed. No, you go based on certainty. If I, for example, what was your name? Uh, Chad. Chad, if I knew everything there was to know, if I had all knowledge and you didn't, and there was a rule that said, I am never, ever, ever allowed to tell a lie. And I said, Chad, I know everything, I'm not allowed to lie. Two plus two equals four. Could you now know that to be true, even though you, Chad, don't know everything? Could you know if I knew everything? Two plus two is four. Right. If I knew everything and I couldn't lie, and I told you two plus two equals four, could you trust that to be true? Yes, because yeah. I know it. Because right. But there's no proof for God. Okay. Well, could you be wrong about that, Chad? What, Your dad said he could be wrong about everything. Could you? And I'm not just trying to pick on you because you're an 11 year old young man. Uh, uh, could you be wrong that there's no proof of God? Uh, no. You cannot. That's an. So you're absolutely yes. sure of that. You're absolutely sure. Yes. I don't think your dad would take the exact same position. I'm not very sure. That's okay. Okay.